It's that time of year again. We travel to Mansfield, Ohio to attend the country's most haunted music festival. Located on the grounds of the iconic Ohio State Reformatory, this three-day weekend is full of live music, attractions, and plenty of ghosts. Come experience my favorite music festival ever, Incarceration. All right, so we are doing the Blood Prison here at the Ohio State Reformatory. We got Tyler back there. Uh, this is part of the incarceration trip. You get a little sneak peek at their Blood Prison, which is open here in October. If I don't pay attention, I'm gonna hit my head, dude. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Breath.
So that was pretty sick. Nice little blood prison. The Ohio State Reformatory. Tyler, what do you think, dude? Uh, I liked it a lot. It's good. That's how we get. All right, on to the next one. What's up guys, we're here at Incarceration and you know the deal, we're gonna do a food test review. Got some amazing food trucks here, but I'm joined with the one and only Jesse Lee. Oh, Filming. Oh hi! This guy, right? Yeah, we got him with me. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm very into this. I am, yes. I am super, all my attention is on this. Yes. All his attention is here, yes. ready to go. I am present. He right. picked the food truck. What we got? We got tacos, baby. Can't go wrong with tacos. You can, but. You can absolutely go wrong with tacos, but I think I have faith in these tacos. I think these tacos are going to lead us down the right path, man. What taco are you getting? Beef, veggie, pork, seafood, chicken, or the special? I know all of them. No, no, I can't do that. I'll, I'll throw up. Ah, oh, the chicken. Sir, my views aren't good enough to do all of them. <laughs> we'll do that one more time. Which one are you getting? Chicken! Chicken. Sounds good. I'm, we'll figure it out when we get up there, but let's go get some tacos. So far, they look absolutely amazing. They look right. good. My biggest goal today is to not get diarrhea. That's all I'm hoping for. I'm shooting well. So. Well, if you get it, let us know. Yeah. I'll, and I'll send pictures you a, and videos. I'll keep you abreast to my bottom. Cheers. Oh, yes. Cheers, fries. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. Listen. That's a solid taco. That's worth the diarrhea if I get it. Alright. If I shit my pants tonight, I'm okay with it because this taco hey, is yo. worth it. Yeah. where? Start over. Bro. Bro. I took a bite! What do you mean start yeah. over? Dude, this man is fire. Yeah. Start over. Anyway, wow, this yeah. is a delicious taco. You know, normally I would never eat anything without hot sauce. You spill a taco into my drink, you tall son of a bitch. This giant motherfucker is spilling tacos into my drink. It fucking works over here. Anyway, as I was saying, I would never normally eat anything without hot sauce on it, but I'm making an exception for this diet. It's very good. Brandon? Alright, out of 10. 7.5. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The fish is good. It rolls up to take my tongue. I'm going to give it an 8. We're going to see how it rolls off my asshole later. It's a full review. It's not a full rating, but I'm going to give it an 8 right now. Look at this guy in butts. Weird. <laughs> hey, I appreciate it, Dad. Hell oh, yeah. To the prison! I'm gonna shut the gate. Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's super hard to find good help. I'm sorry. <laughs> I 
don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. We double mic'd up out here. All the ghost stories, throwing it back to the roots. All the spookies. This place is terrifying. I know for experience. I know for what's what? Hold on. What's the phrase? <laughs> I know for a fact this place is haunted. There we go. We'll just say that. That works. Went to Paul's before. Yes. And you've stayed overnight. Tell us about your history with this building. Ooh. First time here was 2019. I was with the Mr. Beast channel and we were doing a video 24 hours in America's most haunted prison. Um, and at first it started out as just, you know, any YouTube video 24 hours, but then about at one or two o'clock in the morning, we we're like, let's actually do a full on ghost investigation. Um, we went to the prison cell where the gentleman burned himself alive. And we were Johnny. in there, I think it was Johnny, yeah. that it? We were hearing footsteps coming down the rows coming towards us so much that two of the members that were with us left and I was stuck there. And one of the guys on the other side looked at me like, Jake, are you good? And I was like, I really don't know because the entire back half of my body was paralyzed. Just, yeah. And I was saying, it's one of those things a lot of people were like, oh, paranormal, this and that. It's like, well, it's when something happens that you can't fully explain and your mind can't rationalize. You have your fight or flight, but at the same time, there's always just the, you just stand there because you're trying to still figure it out. And that's what it was for me. I was just saying, I was just like, I don't know what to do but my entire back half of my body is just... Do you have an early memory of uh, discovering a, an artist or musician that scared you as a kid when you first discovered their music? Scared? Ooh, it will be, be between Slipknot and Mudvayne, because this was in their rock and Of course, Slipknot still has a mask, sure. but then Mudvayne also has their mask. Um, and uh, the first video I saw was Slipknot Duality and their music video on MTV. That was one of the first yep. ones that was kind of like, what the hell is going on? We ain't afraid to know ghosts. I am every now and then. I literally tried to get him to do the blood tour earlier, but he was too scared. I ducked him. I ducked him so hard. So now he's going to do the haunted prison part, where it's actually haunted and not people in makeup. <laughs> yeah, man. Some, for some reason, that scares me less, okay? Bold strategy, Cotton. Throwback to like 2021, when I came here for a ghost hunt on my own. This is the room where we had an entire file from my SD card get completely corrupt after we had some very interesting experiences. This is the chair room. Take that with what you will. This room, now that you're here, cool. I'm gonna tell you this. This room is the chair room where the chair moves. Mm -hmm. I was here doing an overnight investigation. I sat in the chair. Our psychic said that the guy in the corner didn't like that came up to me and was standing right behind me. And I'm sitting just like, oh shit, my whole body's freaking out. And then we left. And then later in post, when I was putting the video together, the entire file from this whole encounter was corrupt, not usable. That's, That's real shit. That is That's real shit. That's spooky scary. Real shit. So oh this place. Mm. When was that? What did you do? 21. Let's go. What was it, it? It feels weird in this room. I don't, I don't know why. It's probably because of that. Uh, something's just really weird about it. Uh, but I don't think it's real, so. That was getting spooked. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? I don't like the attic. At all. <laughs> you don't like the attic, bro? No, no, look at this. No. no. Let's go. Let's get out of here. What's up, Jesse? He's scared of heights. What's up, Jesse? He's really scared of heights. He's what? He's really scared of heights. It's not my favorite thing of this high. I don't enjoy it. We're not even that high, bro. He's what are we scared? Oh, look at Jesse. What are we scared? <laughs> that scared me, dude. Oh my goodness, he's mad. He's angry. What are you doing? Why? You're so far away. He's a personal toy. Another incredible festival weekend comes to an end. I just want to give a big shout out to DWP, the bands, and more importantly, the fans that made this weekend so magical. Until next year.